Hey, what's up everyone? We've got a lot to discuss in today's weekly update video. So as normal, we are going to be doing the vendor reset and the invaded mission reset and all of that sort of stuff. We've got the Chirpy League that's live right now as a way last week. So we, did, we weren't able to discuss this in last week's video or anything. We'll be discussing that today because we've got a community event around it. But also we've got a 24-hour stream on the 18th of November. I want to go over that. My channel's turning five years old. It's been five years since we started, which is insane. We're going to do a 24-hour stream around that and have a lot of fun. Also, also, we had a goal of 200 members on the channel, which we smashed recently thanks to gifted memberships. And uh, I promise you 24 hours of control points. So we're going to explain all how that works in this video as well as doing a normal weekly update. I'd appreciate a like and a share to support it. Subscribe if you're new here for more content from myself. And a huge shout out to our community that is approaching 26,000 members. If you're not a part of a community, make sure you come and check it out before you, uh, before you leave here today. It's linked at the top of the video description. So first, on screen now is the last 24 hours stream we did in april it was a charity stream we raised so much money i'm pretty sure it ended at over five thousand pounds that we raised and we had a lot of fun we did raids for the whole 24 hours but what we wanted to do this time so this month on november 18th is we wanted to, to kind of turn the stream into a bit of a game get really engaged with you guys it's not a charity stream this one it is just celebrating the five years on the channel and like I said, because we've reached 200 members on the channel, I owe you 24 hours of control points. So on November 18th at 1 minute to midnight UK, we will be going live for 24 hours, doing a whole 24 hours of just control points. But we're going to be playing GC Protect the President, which is an idea by Penny. Uh, I'll be starting with a four-person squad. One person is going to be elected president by the viewers, and that person has got to stay alive. It's my job to keep them alive. Now, if they go hard down, I have to spin a wheel. And on this wheel, there's going to be like forfeits or things I've got to do because I've let the president go hard down. It's going to be really, really fun. Now, there's going to be an incentive for the president to stay alive so they don't just screw me over. But also, once the president is hard down, you elect a new president and so on and so on. So we'll be spinning the wheel every time they go down. We'll be having a lot of fun with that. You can also force a spinner wheel during a 24-hour stream where uh, if anyone becomes a new member or if you do a gifted membership or a super chat, that'll enforce a spin the wheel and we'll spin the wheel anyway to get one of those forfeits. Now, I need ideas for these. I've been asking members recently for, for some ideas, some other people that know about the stream already. And we've got a good list of ideas, things like deleting some of my gear, uh, playing with inverted controllers, uh, playing with different sensitivity. There's loads of sort of ideas that we've got, but comment down below if you can think of any good forfeits for this spin the wheel. So just to explain that again, if the president goes down or there's a super chat, a new member or a gifted membership, we're going to spin the wheel. I'm going to have to do what it lands on so give me some of those ideas it's going to be really fun and for those that like community trophies it's going to be a whole host of community trophies for the 24-hour stream uh which you can get a hand on so look out in the community for a future announcement i'm writing it all up this week and you'll know exactly how it what, what's going on and what sort of trophies you can earn in the community as well during the event and moving on to this week's activities, we've got the Chirpy League still active. I weren't able to start a community event last week because I was away, but we did get the post out yesterday. I streamed last night and I set you some times. Every single league that comes onto the Division 2 in the seasons, we challenge you to beat my times. I set you some times, and if you beat us, you get a community trophy. So it's no different with the Chirpy League. All of my times are going to be posted later in the relevant channel in the Discord, and I'll also share all of our runs in full over on more GC rock and just a quick shout out to more gc rock it's just 50 subscribers off of 1000 now thank you so much we're so close to 1000 if you're not subbed to more gc rock please do go and give it a sub link down below as always also this week the hollywood global event goes live so we've got seven days of the hollywood global event if you enjoy this get on it now this is great for getting stars getting exotic caches or whatnot and uh yeah i'm not too keen on the hollywood one but we do have the golden bullet coming up at the end of the season which i'm really excited for i think that's everybody's favorite but they're the two activities that are live this week uh, after this week this league is going to end the global event will end and we'll have a final manhunt which is the mitchell manhunt we can't wait for that if you remember last season how that season ended on that manhunt i'm expecting a lot because once we take down mitchell we can then actually go and do the, the main target and see how the story unfolds going into season 11 so it's very exciting we still got the dark path of apparel event to come as well with one more league to see the season out also 
And that is all I wanted to update everyone on. So we're going to move straight on to the resets now, starting with the invaded mission reset. District Union Arena is invaded for this week. You've got to do Jefferson Trade Center, American History Museum, and Camp White Oak to get that unlocked. Once you've done all them, you can do District Union Arena before Tidal Basin. For those wondering why I still do these, well, if you're a new player to the game, there's obviously XP involved, but you get random mod unlocks, you get named items, you get specialization points. If you need any of that, they are well worth doing. And I think you've also got to complete these anyway to unlock title base and legendary now so if you do want to do that legendary this week you're going to want to do these and speaking about legendaries the weekly legendary for the exotic cash is district union arena this week so complete that for your exotic cash now we're going to go on to the vendor reset now to finish off the video we start at the countdown vendor i go around every single vendor and uh, we'll show you what's on sale I'll discuss any top picks as i go uh, but i do release just a uh, top picks only short on my more gc rock channel on my twitter and on my instagram so follow them if you want to check out those each week just to see in less than a minute what i advise you to buy so starting at the count down vendor this week we've got a commando with marksman rifle damage headshot damage damage to armor and perfectly naked there's some contractors gloves with weapon damage damage to armor and weapon handling they are obviously godly max weapon damage roll whatever you want over the weapon handling be that crit chance or crit damage or anything they're going to be godly there's a baker's dozen as well with rifle damage crit damage and damage to armor this comes with perfect lucky shot there's also a very good baker's dozen if that's something you're interested in at the White House vendor this week, you can buy a swap chain with SMG damage, critted chance, optimal range, that's got perfect unwavering. A tactical org with SMG damage, critted chance, optimal range and outsider. A custom P416 with assault rifle damage, health damage, headshot damage and in sync. A Disserus with pistol damage, damage to armor and fast hands. Richter and Kaiser backpack with skill tier, skill ace, repair skills and protector. Overlord chest piece with weapon damage, weapon handling, explosive resistance, and tag team. Then we have a 7.6% headshot damage mod, an 8.3% scan range mod for a drone, a 4.3% damage mod for a turret, and a 4% burn duration mod for a sticky. At the clan vendor this week, you're able to buy a burnout with assault rifle damage, health damage, swap speed, and that's got perfectly on empty. There's Eclipse Protocol knee pads with skill tier and status effects, Rigger backpack with skill tier and repair skills, Eclipse Protocol holster with skill tier and skill damage, a P4 Storm type with pistol damage, damage target out of cover and sledgehammer, an M1911 with pistol damage, critical hit chance and optimist, Providence chest piece with weapon damage, uh, headshot damage, explosive resistance and vanguard, chest and knees with weapon damage, weapon handling, health, We've got Black Market RPK with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, swap speed and perpetuation. Uzina Getica holster with armor, armor regen and repair skills. Uzina gloves with armor, health and explosive resistance. Then there's a 17.2% repair skills mod, a 4.3% burn damage mod for a turret, a 4.5% deflected damage mod for a shield, and a 4.5% radius mod for seekers. On to the settlements now and starting at the campus, we've got a white death on sale with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, reload speed and steady handed. A G28 with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, damage target out of cover and sledgehammer. Classic M60 with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, headshot damage and ranger. Empress mask with skill tier, credit damage and skill damage. Channel light holster with skill tier, health and hazard protection. Then we've got a 9.9% skill aced mod, a 7.4% ensnare duration mod for your chem. A plus 4 repair charges for a hive, an 8.7% radius mod for your pulse, and a 4.2% duration for a trap. And at the theatre settlement on sale this week is a firm handshake with weapon damage, status effects and weapon handling. There's a double barrel sawn off shotgun with shotgun damage, damage to armour, reload speed and ignited. An urban MDR with rifle damage, credit damage, damage to armour and perpetuation. Golden gloves with armour, armour regen and credit damage. Fenris knees with weapon damage, repair skills, and headshot damage. We've got an 8.4% ensnare resistance mod, a 4.2% damage mod for seekers, 4.1% deflected damage uh, for your shield, a plus one max target for a firefly, and a 5.5% health for a decoy. Now for the Dark Zone vendors, we're starting at Dark Zone West. On sale this week is a Harmony with rifle damage, credit damage, stability, and perfectly in sync. I know a lot of people like the Harmony because they're perfectly in sync. It's a decent rifle as well, so maybe a top pick for this week, although the rolls are terrible. A lot of optimization needed. A Tactical Super 90 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, credit chance, and strained. An M1A CQB with rifle damage, credit damage, rate of fire, and lucky shot. 
Umbra Initiative gloves with weapon damage and crit damage. Heartbreaker knees with armor and health. Got some Alps gloves with skill tier, skill ace and headshot damage. Golden knees with armor, armor regen and hazard protection. Then we've got an 8.4% disrupt resistance mod. A 4.9% skill ace mod for seekers. A 4.3% active regeneration mod for your shield. A 5.7% damage mod for your firefly. And a 6% health mod for a decoy. And over at DZ South this week, you're able to buy an Anarchist Cookbook. So this has armor, health, explosive resistance, and comes with perfectly wicked. It's not the best one at all. It's a black market T821 with SMG damage, credit chance, stability, and flatline. An Orge 3 with assault rifle damage, health damage, stability, and close and personal. 586 Magnum with pistol damage, damage to armor, and fast hands. Aces and 8's backpack with weapon damage, headshot damage. We got Hunter's Fury chest piece with weapon damage and health. Channel Light Backpack with Skill Tier, Health, Skill Damage and Protector. Fenris Chest Piece with Weapon Damage, Credit Damage, Credit Chance and Overwatch. It's a very, very good Fenris Chest Piece there. Especially for an Overwatch opportunistic build maybe. Although you go perfect maybe but there the, the rolls you got credit chance credit damage already rolled with the weapon damage some optimization to make it godly and have any talent that you want on it uh there's a 10.1 percent credit damage Roll mod a plus two extra bomb for your drone a 5.8 percent duration for your turret and a 6.2 percent damage for a sticky and the dz east this week you're able to buy a black friday this is the named LMG here with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, reload speed, and it comes with perfectly unhinged. Again, I know a lot of people like this, so I'm going to put it as a top pick for sure, but it's terrible rolls, a lot of optimization needed. You're going to want to roll out the third attribute for like uh, damage to armor there as well, but it's on sale this week if you want it. There's a custom M44 with marksman rifle damage, headshot damage, critted chance, and lucky shot. A GR9 with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, critted damage, and bread basket. A future initiative mask with skill tier and skill damage, hardwired holster with skill tier and status effects, a Brazos mask with armor, skill damage and hazard protection, Grupo holster with weapon damage, headshot damage and hazard protection, then we have a 10.1% skill aced mod, a 4.3% duration mod for your chem, an 8.5% reviver armor repair for your hive, an 8.7% radius for a pulse and a 4.2% duration for a trap. And now on to New York to close off the video. We're starting with Marco. He's selling a tactical MK16 with assault rifle damage, health damage, accuracy, and fast hands. A military RPK with LMG damage, damage target out of cover, reload speed, and sadist. A military M870 with shotgun damage, damage to armor, reload speed, and flatline. Card 45 with pistol damage, headshot damage, and reformation. Alp Summit chest piece with skill tier repair skills, weapon handling, and vanguard. Bellstone gloves with armor, hazard protection, and weapon handling. Bellstone mask with armor, armor region, and hazard protection. Then we've got a 10.2% skill aced mod, a 7.2% headshot damage mod, a 6.5% health mod for seekers, a plus 4 stim charges for your hive, and a 5% blast radius for a sticky. And the final vendor of the video, Roy Benitez, he is selling this week an enhanced PP19 with SMG damage, critter chance, accuracy and measured. And a gear of LMG damage, damage target out of cover, swap speed and strained. A 6716 with rifle damage, critter damage, damage to armor and preservation. A D50 with pistol damage, reload speed and steady handed. I know a lot of people want D50s for liberties, so a top pick for sure, just for that reason. A Gilligar backpack with armor, health, skill aced and overclock. Murakami gloves with skill tier, credit chance, and weapon handling. A roll the holster with weapon damage, status effects, and skill damage. Then we've got a 4.7% credit chance mod, a 16,020 armor on kill mod, a 4.1% damage mod for seekers, a 15.1% health mod for a pulse, and a 4% burn duration mod for a sticky. And that is me done for today's video. Quite a few items on there sale if you need them for sure like the black friday uh that fenris chess piece was probably my favorite pick of the week that's a real good one uh but yeah let me know down in the video comments what you'll be buying this week we're gonna end it there we had a lot to update you on today so thank you for listening and watching don't forget to hit like and share to support the video subscribe if you're new here and also make sure you come check out that community it's linked in the video description until next time thank you for watching stay safe and peace out